Today we're making the new updated Warzone overlay completely for free. Yes, I'm in the car. It's a long story. I don't know if I should look at myself or the camera selfie cam. Look, I'm just out here living my life and people commenting, hey, there was your update, can't make new one. So here, here we are. Here it is. Change the logo, change the color, change the name. Don't like the inside line, turn them off. Change the color, the outside line, do some glow. If you know Photoshop, take the file in the description and get lost. If you don't know Photoshop, stick around. Let's jump on the computer. I'll show you how to edit it for free. And thank you. All right, so the Photoshop file is in the description. It's going to come with a smaller version and a bigger version, depending on if you want to put a logo to the left of it or not. I did leave out the little self-revive and other emblems there. I figured it was just too complicated. Same with the gas mask and armor and all that. I figured for the self-revive, it's not a big deal if that's covered. And then I left the gas mask and all that uncovered instead of trying to outline it. But anyways... And it is a Photoshop file, so like I said in the beginning, you can drop it in Photoshop or for free, you can come to Pixlr.com. We're going to go with this middle option, Pixlr Advanced. And then you can close out of this. Be sure and check out all the other videos we did for Fortnite and Apex overlays as well. But go ahead and go to where you saved the file, probably in your downloads. Mine's here on my desktop. And you can just take it and drag it right into Pixlr. So Pixlr's not going to keep it in folders like I have in the Photoshop file, but the top three outline, inner lines, and background are going to be the smaller version. And then the bottom three are going to be the bigger version that have room for a logo. So whichever one you don't need, just hit the eyeballs and you can hide it. And then at the very end, you're going to want to hide that. Nope, not that one. You're going to unlock that and hide that layer zero so you don't have a background and it can go on top of your gameplay. So super quick, I'll try and show you a couple things that you can do inside of Pixlr. Feel free to go crazy with it. Uh, look up other tutorials on Pixlr, but I'll just show you that stuff like this paint bucket tool over here. If you select your background layer and then come over here and select any color that you want. Uh, let's go with red and then you just click on that layer it'll change the color like i mentioned in the beginning if you don't like these inner lines you can just turn them off i probably prefer them turned off but either way you can click on your outline layer and change that color as well come in here and select black or whatever you like and now that's changed you can use their text tool click in there with it and then click add and go ahead and type your name and then come back over here re-click on the text tool to kind of get out of it and you can come up to the top and select font and color I'll go with white you can drag this bottom bar to resize it obviously this is gonna look better if you drag in your logo so anything you want to add like that you'll just find it on your computer and you can click and drag it right into Pixlr and then you'll want to select add to current there on the right and of course that doesn't have to be your logo it can be any image you have saved on your computer like if you want to throw uh, a character you want to throw spongebob in there you want to throw a nike sign in there just save it on google and just drop it in so a couple other things you could do you could select your background layer you could come up to this wand select tool and if you click in there it's going to select your background then you can use the gradient tool come up to the top and select uh, one of the presets like rainbow or something or you can click on the little notches at the top you can click on it and then change the color of it I'll do like a dark red and then on this right one I'll do black click OK and now that's your gradient you drag from left to right and you've got a little gradient you can do it left to right up down change the colors I think I want it to be a little brighter and then hit control D on your keyboard to deselect like I said this is the version with room for your logo over to the left as well so you can just click and drag something in there add to current my logo doesn't fit very well with this shape, but that's just another example of what you can do. One more thing I'll show you is you can add a glow to it. If you click on your background layer, come up to the layer tab at the top and duplicate it. 
So now you have this copy. Go ahead and drag it beneath the original one. Take this background copy. While it's selected, come up to Filter. And you can play around with all of these different effects, but what I want to show you is Outer Glow. I'm going to leave it on white, but you can make it whatever color you'd like. Go ahead and crank the feather all the way up and then whatever size you'd like. And also if you want to turn down the opacity, that changes how see-through it is. So I'll put that around 50-ish percent and then click apply. And now you've got a little glow, but as you can see, it also goes in the middle. So that's why we made a copy. If you want to, you can use this little rectangle select tool go around these areas and then just delete it and you won't have glow in the middle like that and then control plus D to deselect last thing you want to do is hide the background layer customize it to your liking and then you'll come up to file export quick export page as PNG don't do a layer because it'll only do one layer make sure you do page as PNG I'll save that as Hatex Warzone and then you can come into your streaming software hit the plus button down in your sources add an image name it whatever you'd like we'll do Warzone overlay and hit OK browse to where you saved it Hatex Warzone and now it's probably looking a little funny on my screen because I'm recording my screen right now if you can't see it'll now be in your preview window you can scale it and pull up warzone or like you could save a warzone screenshot or take a screenshot from somebody's stream and get that lined up in the bottom of your screen and that's pretty much it be sure and like and subscribe check out the apex overlay a fortnite overlay and a bunch of other streaming videos i have i'm gonna start streaming again here in the next couple weeks so be on the lookout for that i appreciate you watching i'll see you in the next one peace <coughs>